Cash in Storms with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Galaxy S3 for Verizon. This is the Executioner 2.5. Now it's just been updated to 2.5 from 2.0 by a developer REMF4i. So he's been doing a lot of development here lately on the Galaxy S3. He's gotten to a point where this is an awesome stable build and he's going to build off of this an actual uh, TouchWiz DNA ROM for the Galaxy S3, which is pretty cool. So this ROM is based off of the official Verizon over-the-air Jelly Bean ROM. It's rooted Diodex, bashed BusyBox, zip line, and tweaked out the rear end. Uh, this thing really runs incredibly fast. You're going to get high quadrant scores on this because the speed tweaks, all the speed tweaks and NAD tweaks are baked into the ROM. He has V6 supercharged. It used to be ran in a terminal script, uh, but now it's just baked into the ROM. So you're going to get it out of the box with the extra speed and the awesome performance. Now the version I'm running is the TouchWiz themed, uh, stock themed version. He also has a grayed out themed version. Yesterday when I tried to download it, uh, it wasn't completely uploaded. So I have the TouchWiz version. You can also have that gray theme version. So you can see up here all my icons are gray, but it kind of extends into your settings and your Wi-Fi, uh, your toggles, and your auto brightness are all themed. And uh, it just makes the ROM have a different look and feel if you go with that gray themed version. So we'll head into settings. And there's a few things that I want to show you. First, we'll go to About Phone. And you'll see that we're running Android 4.1.1. This is the Executioner build 2.5. Now, 2.0 comes with the iMoseon Lean Kernel, and it gives you some extra functionality like overclocking. Now, this ROM really runs quickly and fast without overclocking, so uh, the fact that 2.5 includes the stock kernel is not a deal breaker by any means. This ROM runs plenty fast without overclocking. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys is the awesome battery life I'm getting on this ROM. So it's been unplugged for almost 12 and a half hours and we still have 63% battery left on this. Now that's with about, let's see, an hour and a half of screen on time. So this, there's not been a bunch of power use on this device today, but some people have been getting 18 to 20 hours on a full charge and I would say that I would easily get that today if I continued to leave it uncharged. This ROM comes with your Android 4.2 applications such as the keyboard, Gmail, Market, Google Search, and uh, let's see, we'll go into the email, and you guys see that it is the 4.2 email, and then the keyboard, you guys see it is that keyboard. It includes the 4-in-1 reboot options, so if we go to restart, you'll see that you have hot boot, download, and recovery modes, plus you can just reboot the phone. That's a pretty neat feature. With this being a TouchWiz ROM, the main selling point of a TouchWiz ROM, obviously, is that all your TouchWiz features are going to work, like your S-Memo and your S-Voice. This also includes the Awesome Beats, the Nozodi, and the Newsy applications uh, for you audio files out there. It also includes the Acid Sound Mod. This also includes Wi-Fi Tether. So we go into Settings and More Settings. Mobile Hotspot. If we turn that on, that's going to kick on the Wi-Fi Tether. So you will be able to tether uh, without the Verizon provisioning. That's pretty cool. So the main enhancements in 2.5 are basically just more... Uh, custom mods and tweaks to make the performance even better, to make the battery life even better. And uh, as you guys can tell, if we go into the app drawer and then back home, this thing just really flies through the screens. It's buttery smooth. And uh, it doesn't get much more stable than this ROM. Uh, so the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and install the ROM. So we'll just reboot into recovery. Okay, so in recovery, we're going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. You'll select Yes. I'm going to go back because I already have it installed. Then we'll go to Wipe Cache Partition. Select Yes. Then we'll go to Advanced. Wipe Dalvik Cache. And then we'll go back. Install Zip from SD Card. All the GApps are included, so all you have to do is install just the ROM itself. You're looking for the Executioner 2.5. 
I either it'll say either stock or gray theme you'll select that and click yes to install and then we'll reboot the system and it does come with just the regular Galaxy S boot animation because that has been all for the Executioner 2.5 ROM if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Pull the trigger on that subscribe button. We're going to have lots of coverage on this phone and several other devices. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX for all the latest in Android and tech news. You can follow me at DroidModerX.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.